Hi everyone, so we're back at Icana. Um, there's a little thing that I can quickly grab up here that I'm going to do before I continue with the Andrew Keefe quest. Actually, I'm probably going to wrap it up in this video. If you go into this house here, there's a little mini game you can do where you have to kill the ghosts, like the ones from uh, the Forest Temple in Ocarina of Time. Okay, for some reason it doesn't let you take the mask off, which is probably a bad thing, so I don't really remember if he lets you play the game as anything other than normal Link. I probably should have just tested that, though, rather than leaving. Anyway, something that always caught me off before was that um, in this one, you can't actually start this game if you've uh, like sort of cleared the area. So if you've beaten Stone Tower Temple and haven't played the Song of Time again, this guy just won't be here. And I never really sort of connect, uh, like made the connection about that for a long time. So, yeah. Just make sure you haven't actually um, finished the temple on this cycle. I don't really know how many hits this is going to take per ghost, so we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, it's not really hard if you just stay away from them. Two. Okay, that's not too bad. Ooh, I'll be grabbing that. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, in Ocarina of Time, you can speed up these fights a lot by throwing Deku Nuts at them to make them spawn as soon as he disappear. Unfortunately, it doesn't work in this game. Come on. So I guess, yeah, I think the rupee thing is because I'm killing them with light arrows, but obviously... Dude, this one's just really not going to leave me alone. I'll just stand away from one. So one more hit for this one, then I'll have to fight Meg, which was the, uh, the other one. The sort of sub boss from the Forest Temple in Ocarina of Time. I think the gimmick is still the same. I think she still kind of spots into four or what have you. Where'd it go? Where am I? So we're just looking for the one that spins, I guess. I think it was this one. No, it wasn't, so it must have been this one. I couldn't see because the camera wasn't really too great, but whatever. I mean, it's like really close to Link right now. I think it was this one. It wasn't. Or that one. Jesus. Come on, hit it. Oh my god. I've run out of magic. It's even showing me again which one. How have I run out of magic, for god's sake? How does this even happen? Alright, it's this one. It's going to take more hits now, though. Now that I've actually not got any magic. Oh well, whatever. Come on. Alright, cool. Not too bad. Unfortunately, I won't get rupees from that, but uh, whatever. I still finished it in time, so I should still get the heart piece from him. So there's another uh, place in Icana where I can get like another heart piece, but like I've mentioned in previous videos, you can't complete it unless you already have a certain amount of hearts. And I'm pretty sure I don't right now. Oh, this sucks. I'm going to have to get some magic. Come on, there must be someone here. I mean, I don't really need it, but I want it so that I can do this. Oh no, I feel like this isn't going to work. Come on, didn't we go into spike mode? Cool. Because it lets you get across like that, which looks awesome. <laughs> that was all I wanted to do. Alright, so this little heart piece over here, nice and easy to get. I can just bomb you hover over to it. Don't need to worry about like giving this guy a title deed or what have you. I've skipped all of them in this playthrough. So, actually, I'm going to turn the camera around. Okay, just barely made it. I think to save explosives, I'm just going to actually go back across like this. You can see Kefi over there in the distance. Waiting to get in the Cyclone side out. Um, yeah, rather than actually wait for Cyclone to come over here, I'm gonna just quickly advance to the night of the final day, because that's when you need to do this anyway. It's like after 6 pm, so Kiki kind of hangs around there for like the entire day. So we'll just, we'll just make it night really quick. And like I said, I'm not going to wait for uh, for Sakon. What you're supposed to do is wait over here with Kefi. Sakon will come over and open it, and then you'll both run in. 
There's a really old glitch that you can do here though. If you just run into this crack and like roll at the right spot, it's a little bit finicky. And then when you're like out of bounds, just sort of lean into the left and uh, you should be able to make it. And it's like I said, it's not it's not really that easy to do, but it's very simple anyway. So I made it in, and since it is the final day, Kefi's already inside, even though I never saw him running. So we're gonna skip most of this little thing here as well. Because um yeah, it's a uh, kind of a long little mini game. This emulator just lagged a little bit there. I don't know why. But, um, there's a big glitch you can do here that lets you equip any item or like any mask or whatever on the North American and Japanese versions of the game, which I'm playing on the North American one. The glitch is that as Kefi, it lets you pause. So you can put on the bunny hood, for instance, as Link pause and then put something else over it and then when it switches back to Link he'll put on that mask and this is one way that you can use the fierce deity mask outside of boss fights. Don't have it yet though so not an issue. We're just going to quickly get through this. As you can see there's a bunch of rooms and puzzles that you're supposed to get through. As Link you would fight the enemies and as Kefi you would just like solve the little block thing. I'm only really going to solve this first one and I'm just going to glitch through the entire rest of it. It's not really too hard to do. And the solution is actually kind of simple. So let me just pop in here. I'm not going to kill that. I'm going to quickly get ISG. I'm just going to do uh, a hover onto this thing. I don't really remember how many explosives this takes, but... I feel like this might be right. This is definitely right. Okay, so I'm now on top of this. I can just sight up all the way to the end. Alright, cool. And if I just hit this switch, which is the last one Link is supposed to hit, the game assumes that I've got Kefi to the end already. And there you go. Got the sun mask, which isn't really a mask you can get, although it is, I guess, half a mask that I'm going to get later on. Really soon, actually. So, um, yeah, it's now the last few hours of the final day. There's still one more thing that I want to grab in Icana before I head back to Clocktown and actually get the couple's mask. Pretty long cutscene this. I don't know why it continues to show him when he's clearly off screen, but whatever. Uh, I'm gonna need this potion as well. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. I should have put the lens of truth because I'm gonna need that. Don't talk to me. So, I'm just gonna head back down to the sort of entrance to this place, which I haven't been to in ages since I went to the graveyard, I don't think. You can see the moon is like almost there, you know. <laughs> it's getting a little bit scary, I guess. I mean, not really, but whatever. So, where is this? Okay, so in here is an invisible guy. Let me just quickly talk to him. I need to cure him. So if you do that, he'll give you a mask that you're supposed to use to navigate the pirate's fortress and to get into Sakon's hideout and probably a bunch of other stuff that I've uh, managed to get around this playthrough. It gives you the stone mask, so completely useless for me right now. But, who cares? Let's just warp back to Clock Town, so I'll put the cursor to Woodfall and play the Song of Soren again. And I'm pretty sure that's, uh, like the end of the Andrew Keefe quest. I mean, I need to go and obviously get the mask from them. And there's also a quick heart piece that I can grab as well. And we're going to find out why I got the priority meal again in just a second. So, yeah, I'm jinxed right now, that's why he's flashing. But yeah, let me just nip in here, back into the inn. Oh, and I can actually access the room at the very top now that's always been shut for the entire three days. This is the only time of day when you can access it. I think you might even... No, you don't need to have done the Andrew Kiwi quest, you definitely don't have. Because I remember speedruns used to get it, but if I come in here... Yeah, I can just talk to this disgusting hand. He wants paper. Probably best not to ask why. Just give him the priority meal. It's like expensive paper, I bet. And he gives you a heart piece. Alright, so... Jeez, we only need uh, another, what? Ah, uh, like 15 heart pieces. Why did it take me so long to figure that out? Another 15 heart pieces and that's him done. That's still quite a lot though, I mean, there is like obviously a lot in this game. 
Right, so what we're doing right now is just pretty much waiting for Kefi to get here. As you can see, Andrew's here, so we are at the end of the quest. That mask on there is like, I guess, the moon mask, and uh, the one that Kefi got from Cyclones is the uh, the sun mask. So, yeah, I'm just gonna knock about on the table, jump off the of stuff. Is there anything cool I can do in here? Probably not, to be honest. Maybe try and get up there. Yeah. yeah. Getting really close to the end of the day here. You better hurry up and get here or the moon's going to crash. I have a feeling he's going to get, get here before that happens all. I guess he doesn't have the privilege of like the song of soaring, so... He just has to run all the way back to Clock Town. But he is certainly taking his time, so let's fast forward this. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't have it set like that before. Uh, <laughs> let's just see. When he comes in, I'm probably going to slow it down, though, because it is kind of like a nice part of the game. Jeez, I should have ran to the bank and put my money in it. That would have been a smart thing to do. And I've got a lot of explosives left over. I think I tried to save some. In fact, I did. That's why I used the Deku earlier to get back across that gap. But I'm going to have to play the song of time really soon anyway, so... Bit of a weird thing to do. Uh, well, whatever. This is the end of the long Andrew Keefe quest. How many videos is this taking? Like four? I mean, it probably would have been one if I wasn't time restricted on YouTube right now, but... Yeah, I think I've talked about that enough already, so... We'll just let them... Combine their masks. And... I'll take the reward from it. Alright, okay, I'm gonna fast forward this. It's taken a while. Alright, here we go. So there's the couple's mask, which um probably the single longest mask to get in the game, except for the Fierce 81, obviously. And uh has exactly one use. So Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that, that quest is over now at least. I think it's one that was kinda the bane of many people's existence when they were playing this game as kids. I certainly hated it. Alright, so what can I still do in this video? I guess I I don't know where I'm going, first of all. Should not be heading in that direction. I guess I'm just gonna go and put my money in the bank. And I mean like I, I totally don't need to. <laughs> I've got so much in there already, but I'm just feeling kinda greedy right now. I wanna make sure I've got all my pennies saved up. Cause I think yeah, I think there's definitely still something I can do in this video. I can show off like what the couple's mask is used for. It's one and only use, so let's just chuck this in. Play the song of time. And when I'm back on day one, I can show you what the couple of masks is used for before the video ends. I'm just going to leave it fast forwarded. Fast forwarded, yeah, like in speed up mode right now, because uh, I need to wait till 10 o'clock in the game anyway, so. Just try and get the couple's mask equipped. It's kind of hard when the thing is like this fast. Alright, okay, I got it. So when it gets to 10 o'clock, I can open this door. But until then, you actually can't get in here. I mean, you can probably just bomb hover over it and get into the loading zone that way, but... I'd have to go and buy explosives and... Oh, whatever, I'll just wait. It's not really that long. Especially when you're doing this kind of thing. Just run around this post for a bit. Alright, it's almost time. Get the mask off. Yeah, like, it's kind of annoying, like, you can't get in before him. So, whatever. If I quickly run into this room, put on the couple's mask, and then talk to everybody, it somehow resolves our little conflict. And eventually, the mayor, I think, is going to give me... Oh, okay. I mean, it made it look like that was a lot of time that passed there, but um, it literally wasn't any time at all. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. Uh, with this emulator, the graphics for the couple's mask and Link is wearing it is... Uh, well, okay, it looks kind of normal there, but like, when he was holding up that heart piece, it was like pure white. It looked like a Scooby-Doo villain or something. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.